Hi everyone, this is my entire makeup collection um, just in a big old pile. I'm going to put everything in this drawer right here and I'm going to put my everyday kind of stuff in this drawer which is going to go in my actual desk. I don't even know where to start. I think to just start getting stuff out of the way, I'm going to start putting away my eyeshadow palettes. I want my eyeshadow palettes to go in this drawer right here and have them like stacked up going this way. Yeah, I think most of them will fit going this way. So I'm going to start with that. I kind of wish that the Anastasia palettes had the name of them written across. Um, but I'm going to keep these palettes together um, by brand. Okay, so I'm going to give this a stop. There's going to be a lot of jumping around, I think. Well, my cooler freaking jet. I'm going to start filling these up. I just have a lot of single stuff that I need to start putting away right now. I just got like a bunch of new Ardency in eyeshadows because they were having 70% um, off their entire site. So I just picked up a bunch of them. I'm going to put them in here. Luckily, they double up. Like they fit doubled in. So that's And ColourPop shadows fit really well in these. So I'm going to put the color pop shadows in there too. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true. I don't even know what I'm gonna put in this one. Maybe I should leave this aside and I'll start filling up this one. This is beautiful. What shade is that? Might be. That's so pretty. What the heck? I never use that. Okay, so I'm gonna start filling up this one right here. This is for um, blushes and stuff. I'm gonna have it set up pretty similar to how it was before where I had these guys lined up like that. And then some minis. I'm also going to start taking what I know is going to be in my everyday face drawer and putting it in my desk right here. It's like way in the back, you can't really see it. But I'm going to start putting it inside of that drawer. I'm not going to organize it or anything, I'm just going to put it, start putting stuff in there so that I can just keep moving product around because it's like getting too much for me to handle. It's like. I probably shouldn't have done it this way. I also don't have that much space in my room to like make a bunch of different categories of different stuff. So yeah, I don't know, but we're just gonna keep moving along. I'm going to start putting some lipsticks in my lipstick holder because that's kind of what's getting in my way right now. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.
sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through?
sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light is done and put away thankfully that took so long it was broken up between two evenings since I don't have a ton of lip products I do keep them up front and since it's something that I interchange in my makeup daily I just keep them up front so I can easily look at them I also think lipsticks are beautiful so it's really nice for just like decoration type purposes I usually have a lot more eyeshadow palettes up here but since I just organized everything I kind of just wanted to keep things um, 
in their place for just a little bit at least. Um, eyeliners and lip liners over here. Let me take you down so I can give you like a quick little tour of everything else. So this very top drawer is just going to be my extra foundations, some extra concealers and like sample size stuff, powders. I have a couple of face palettes back there, some extra setting sprays. I did put some of my face masks in here and then a extra powder and then some skincare products over here. This next drawer is my cheek stuff. Um, I just have like some cheek palettes over here. I have some other stuff in the way way back um, Just stuff that I don't use as regularly, but didn't want to get rid of I have mainly blushes and highlights in these Compact holders and then I have some sample size blushes and highlights or like liquid stuff over here um, And then just some more highlights back here and whatnot. I was able to downsize everything a lot. Like this drawer was super, super packed and I was able to kind of distribute things more evenly and get rid of a lot. So that was really good for me, I think. Same with this eye drawer. This eye drawer was so, so packed before, but I moved my eyeshadow palettes in another drawer like I had showed you guys before. Um, but, oh, there's a little part so what you can't see right here is that I'm keeping some like liquid eyeshadows here including like some primers and stuff. Um, I have loose pigments here and here. I have cream eyeshadows here. I'm keeping my ColourPop ones all over here and then I have my Art and CN shadows here and then just random shadows over here like my Topshop shadows and then just some more eyeshadow palettes in the back that didn't really fit underneath. I just got this eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. I hate the packaging of it, but the eyeshadows itself are so beautiful. Like, I don't think I could need another eyeshadow with this palette. So, I'm just going to give that a whirl sometime. I actually never tried it yet. This drawer has my eyeshadows. Again, um, I would take a few of them out and put them up at the top. I would probably take out the Soft Glam palette and the Naked Heat palette. Those are, like, my favorite um, probably the Maya Renaissance too, but just keeping my eyeshadow palettes down here I have a lot of them so they needed kind of their own drawer and then I have some more up here But I just kind of wanted to fill this drawer up a good bit too I kind of just wanted to keep this drawer filled up because I need um, these things to not slip around so much plus the palettes that are in here are um, A little bit too small to be kept in here because they'll kind of just like lose their place or whatever and then this final drawer right here has some extra lip products that I didn't want to get rid of, but I don't use as often right here. Um, it has extra brushes, some backup products, backup products over here. And yeah, just extra brushes that I'll use in the future or like... Um, kind of interchange with my everyday brushes when I'm too lazy to clean them. So here is my everyday face drawer. Just This is attached to my desk where I do my makeup every day. So this is just going to be really easy for me to get what I need and do my whole face. I'm having my face lotions over here, primer, sunscreen, my everyday foundations over here, concealers and stuff over here, blushes and eye stuff. Um, mascara is in this back corner you can't really see and then um, lip products some palettes some powders that I really love highlighters bronzers tweezers little scissors like just everything that I will need to do my makeup on a daily basis is in this drawer it's gonna be really easy for me to just do my makeup uh, anyway thank you guys so much for watching this is gonna be a bitch to edit. I think it's like three hours of footage that I'm gonna need to edit. Anyway guys, that's all my makeup in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This was much needed for me to do. My All my makeup had just been sitting in this giant bag in my room because I moved back into my parents house and I've been needing to like put everything together so this was much much needed. I also was able to go through a lot of my products, um, rediscover some things. I also was able to get rid of quite a few stuff which you can see down below. I'll just zoom you in real quick. Like this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. There's a bunch of junk and things that are old and not good anymore or like dried out. Just a bunch of junk. So that was really good for me to get rid of too. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you cleaned out some of your makeup too or reorganized. That's like one of my favorite things to do is like reorganize all of my stuff um, and watch people reorganize their stuff while I'm reorganizing my stuff. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I post 
a new video and hopefully I see you next time.